There you go. So I did tell these kids to get in touch with Dominic and he's coming over to talk to you. Nice. I have no problems with talking to him mm -hmm. and everything else, but if this is going to come into a shit show or smart assness or anything like that. Yeah, you going to do that. If he wants to live here, you ain't going to do that. I'm just trying to say I'm willing to talk to the kid, but he's got to go ahead and convince me. I, I, I told you that before, that I'm willing to talk with him because that's just how I am. We've known this kid for a long damn time and everything else. You already texted him and let him know? Yeah. Or did Kyle? I don't know, one of these kids, I don't know. Because I told him, I said, have you, any of you heard anything from him? I'm and they're like, well, we haven't talked to him. I said, can you message him? If he, dad said he will talk to him and everything else. So they said that they messaged him, so I don't know. Well, I'm hoping that, as I said before, there's no guarantees that I'm going to bring him back home. He's got to convince me that he wants to straighten out his life and that I can help him out and everything else. And so if he's going to convince me that things are going to change and everything else, remember, it's all, it's all about being responsible. I, I only want the best for this kid. I know. That's all I, I want you. is something that, that he's going to make a life for himself. You think I enjoy hearing this bullshit that he's out there and everything out in the heat? You think that was my intentions? No, this was to try to go ahead and teach him right from I wrong. I shouldn't have to. He's already at this age. Okay. So, All right, so I'm going to tell you a little. I don't know. Dominic, there. Hey! Harold. Oh, Casey Harold. Come on, Harold. Stop it. Come on. Dominic. Come here. Go sit down at the table. I always sit down and talk business around the table. First off, I want to make this perfectly clear. My intentions of kicking you out, that was not my intention to try to be a hard ass or try to be a jerk and everything else. I've known you since literally, you were six years old, six years old. I've always treated you as a son. It killed me to kick you out and that killed me. That was not something in which I enjoyed doing. And like I, what I did to your car, I told you that before. That was unacceptable. Mama has said, and many times, how is he supposed to get to work? You want him to do this shit and you destroyed his car. Right? And I gave you the money for it. And you got a nice new car now to replace it and everything else. That was because dad knew he, I screwed up. That was something that a man of my age and everything else shouldn't have, shouldn't have done. It's not something in which I should have done. But words are one thing, but actions are another. You know. Hmm. Well, it's time. It's time to, instead of talking, it's time to actually do it. So this is the time doing. And I did try to convince him that, you know, that we are trying to because I understand people have uh, ways and different things that happens that we might not understand or we might not know all the ins and outs but also you have to take the responsibility and you have to kind of say you know what I can, nobody can help me unless I help myself and we're willing to help to stand by but you have to help yourself yeah, I know and that's where I've been messing up you guys both treat me like your son. I look at you guys as parents, so I'm 
I'm sorry. Well, I appreciate for that. How I've been, but I promise I'm going to change. Okay, I appreciate that. And like I said, I really would like you to do, not to say. Okay. Mm. You know, this makes this very hard on me because everything that did transpire over these last couple weeks and everything else, I've heard this before from you. That's the part that in which I'm leery of about, you know, bringing you back home and everything else. I, I can't have you three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon sleeping. I, I, you gotta understand, I go to work and I bust my ass 14 hours a day to give the life to the family as much as I can. And if I see you just laying there or whatever, I mean, okay, fine. I mean, yeah, you look good without that damn beard. You actually do look good. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that was one of your ideas to go ahead and uh, get a job and everything else. I'm hoping. Right. Because the way you were looking, you were looking at, at, at some crackhead that's sitting on a freaking corner. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, you look bad. Right. And you should have never looked that, that damn bad living in a good home. Living in... A home in which has always loved and embraced you and everything else. We we have done, I have done everything that there is no other person in my eyes that would have put up with the shit and everything else. You not being my blood son. As I said, I look at you as my son. But any other father or parents be like, man, I am not taking care of this. This is not my deal. So again... <clears throat> what are you going to do besides all this to convince me that you want to go ahead and come back home and do right? What is it that I know that you are sincere? I'm going to start showing you I'll be sleeping very early every night. No more being up all night, sleep until 5, 6 in the afternoon. I have my interview tomorrow, which... Could ask mom, make sure I get there and everything goes good. Well, the chins, the chins can be given, but again, you have to <coughs> own up to it and you have to move forward with it, with the promises, because promises are empty promises if they're not followed on to. Man, give me the pen. I'm ready now. Okay, write it. So, again, I'm gonna, we're gonna write, I'm gonna write a contract. I'm not gonna do it now, but we're gonna write a contract. What else is there that I know for a fact that you are sincere that you're gonna go ahead and, again, for me to bring you back in and everything else, I mean, there has been so much that we went through and everything else. What is it that I know for a damn fact that you're gonna go ahead and make damn sure that I want you successful, kid. I want you to have a good life. I don't like to hear the shit that you're eating out of a fucking dumpster and sleeping in your car when it's that damn hot or whatever. If something bad would happen or whatever, I would have felt guilty, believe it or not. I would have felt guilty. If you'd had heat exhaustion or whatever the case would be sleeping when it's this damn hot out and everything else. I would have felt really bad. But there's nothing that I can do. <clears throat> you got to do. You got to make right. This is not my problem. This is your problem. So what is it that you can do that is going to convince me that we're going to make this successful? That is my first step. My interview tomorrow. Um, after that, I'm going to continue to apply for <coughs> jobs while I'm waiting to hear back from my interview. And let's see first step. Mm. <coughs> I'm writing it down, what you're telling me and everything else. Now, so I got that written down, got that written down. What else? If I have to beg you. Get the fuck off your knees. 
You ain't begging me like that. I ain't damn damn Jesus damn Christ. Jesus Christ. Don't ever cower down to me like that. Don't ever do that. Well, then give him a chance. I've already written it down and everything okay. else. So that's when you have to remember that. Damn boys, Jesus never, never cower down to me. Never. I, you claim to me to be like a father and everything else. Father would never have his son go on his knees to him. Never. Trust. Trust is a key. Thank you. That's the word I'm trust looking for. Trust is a key. Is so that I want to be say, able to trust in you and yeah. believe in you again. So trust you, is I, a As I said before, I've known you since kindergarten, dude. Yeah. Kindergarten. Now you're a full grown ass man and everything else. So, all right. I'll make my decision. All Fine. Right. You can come back home. Thank you, dude. Do right. I will. Do fucking right. You understand me? Do fucking right. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to help you. But you got to listen and do as I'm trying to help you. I'm not trying to dictate you, but I'm trying to fucking help you. You understand? All right? You can grab your shit and you can come back home. Not that you have a lot of fucking shit anyway. Probably got some one bag or something. But you can actually have something to eat. And once, again, I've never once said that you can never eat, eat here or you can never be able to have a shower and everything. I never said I never said that. Even though Kyle and everybody else was on my ass saying, well now he's eating out of this. That wasn't my fault. I never once said I just said you could not stay here. There was a difference. But now you can come back home and as I said I'm gonna help you. Okay? Please listen. Alright. Good. Alright. Okay, well I hope that everything works out for you and I hope you can keep your word and trust. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Talk to you. Thank you. Well, then. Like I said, everybody deserves a chance. I got it. I got it. It's over. Okay. It's done. Okay. Well done. That's it.